Okay. No. EA Sports. It's in the game.
Sunshine State is home to Goat Campbell Stadium. Cold and rainy conditions, the forecast for today's game between the Miami Hurricane and the Seminoles of Florida State. Samuels. Um, 
Roskill Parish, Kevin Deere, Kelly was a junior. Um, that Miami offense was looking good and shiny. Welcome back. And here we go with the second quarter of Florida State in Miami. So, here we go. Orlando is looking fires. And it's intercepted by Kendall Pope. Kendall Pope. What an interception. Not the same play. Here we go. Here we go. Shooting in the deep. Ooh, in and out. All right. Now, if you're if you or me, I would. If I was you, well, well, I think I should run it. Come out of the eight four eight. Ooh, Ooh, Greg Jones, does he have enough? He doesn't. He's short by two yards. Number twenty-two with the tackle. This is a long field goal. Long kick it. Long field goal. This is a very long field goal. And I got it. That was a great kick. Play. And it's 10 nothing. And in their in Florida State's game against Miami, they only scored 14 points. But the game mostly went bad. The game really went to Miami. They had a 22 nothing lead, but FSU played hard. They played hard, but they didn't do as good. They were down 22 nothing until they scored two touchdowns. But it wasn't enough, and Miami will call their first time out. Here you see Darnell Dockett and Stanford Samuels and Look at that, 12 rushing out, 12. 11 to go in the sec second quarter. High snap, and he sucked. 
So, yes, Frank Gore had nothing on his shoulder pads, no gloves, no nothing when he was at Miami. And look at that ring going down hard. And I think they're going to, and no, they're going to punt it with seven seconds to go. And here's Leon Washington. And he fumbled the football. And Kellen Winslow dives on him. Now here's halftime. Miami needs to do something. So here's the first half stats. Rex with the touchdown to peak no number twenty-one. He the kicker hit that one from fifty-two yards and let's get back. Those were the only scores so far. And there's more from our halftime stats. Both teams with each one turnover. One turnover each. Now here we go with the third quarter. And it goes right through the goalpost. The kick <laughs> Folks, I'm trying to um, get an Xbox 360 with the following two games that I'm going to get with it. NBA 2K13 and NCAA Football 12. If you don't agree with that, leave that in the comments below. He's 
Zobos are crazy. Look at the tight end. Touchdown. Came with something that Chris Wicks delivered. If you saw the settings in the beginning of my first video, then you got you might might be thinking, oh god, dude, you play on rookie? No wonder you win. I'll be like, oh, I don't. But you know what? I don't care what y'all say. I can do whatever I want. I don't care. Maybe net, maybe in the next few videos I do NCAA Football 7 or I do NCAA Madness, March Madness 2004 and I'll do Oklahoma State and Michigan, Michigan State. Why those two teams you say? Well, well you see, I have a friend AJ and we have NBA 2K15 on our mobile devices and I looked at the colleges. Between me and him, he has Oklahoma State, and I supposed that Michigan State, but I accidentally put Vandy. So, I'm on, I'm on the Charlotte Hornets. I did not get drafted by the Charlotte Hornets, but, 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 actually, but I get drafted. I got drafted by the Rockets. I did. We were on a five and O streak, and then I got signed to Nike. So, so after that, I get I get traded to the Charlotte Hornets. Same thing with my friend AJ. He got drafted by the Lakers. And then he gets traded to the 76ers. So, yes. And now our two favorite teams in our games is that I like the Knicks and he likes the Thunder. I might do a video on that as the punter put, punts it out of bounds. And Miami is not looking good. And there's Brian McFadden. There's... I don't know who that guy is, but um, I think maybe at the um, end of this game, near the end, near the end, I'll probably let him score. So here we go, 11 seconds to go in the third quarter, and I fumble it, fumble, but I, the Chris Fitz is right there to reach out and take it, Vince Wolf got him. And that's the end of three. 17 nothing. Usually in a close game, they'll show the four fingers. If you're in a close game, they'll show you the four fingers after the third quarter. So here we go, fourth quarter. Two minutes left to go. Look, he dumps it off on a screen. Nobody is blocking. Zero yards. So, let's see if we can do something. Let's see if we can get 16 yards for our first step. Let's see if we can do it on the ground. Nickel. And that's going to be absolutely nothing. And this might be crazy. I'm going for the field goal. This might be crazy, but I'm going for the field goal. And I would totally miss it. What does the coach think in this situation, That's one thing that bothers a coach. So that was just a little dumb decision to do.
So the score is 17 nothing. And Florida State is holding the score. Miami lines up with three receivers. Here we go. The ball bounces off his hand. And we got a low score. It's really, I like shutouts. But this got me some way to that score. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just feel like they need to score. So they drop it. Roskill Parish, man. Come on, man. Hold on, let me go to these settings and help. It just is one thing. Alright. Of course they're going to go for it. 109 to go. And they got to throw it. And they'll throw it. And it's Kevin Beard going for the touchdown. So, now it's just a little something for my thoughts. So, so it's now 17 to 6. It's about to be um, 17 to 7. Yep. Third place, 77 47. Yep. Yeah. So, 17 to 7. And the fullback gets it. So we're going to run it and hope we can get a couple first downs so we can lock this game up. So here we go with Greg Jones. Ooh, he bounces it out. And look at that big fella. That big fella ran like there was no tomorrow. So, that's a big one. We're going to run it one more time. Let's see if we can get it either in the end zone or another first down. Those were our, what, it's our old spice report, goal line report, and it's negative 44 yards. Let's see. We're going to go back to that run again. Great blocking on that one. Oh, we got exactly what we want. And Greg Jones gets a few more yards. Let's see. Let's see if we can get another first down. And lock it up. And look in, and there was nothing. Well, let's see. We call a timeout. So, 18 seconds to go in this football game. And here we go. Look good. And I got it. 20 to 7. That is our score. And I might think I'll squirt in this one. Because this game is good. 20 to 7. Possible victory. And I am going to kick this ball hard. And somebody gets it. It's number 3. And he gets tackled at the 20. 13 seconds to go. 27. 20 to 7. That's our score. And Berlin will throw it, and it is caught! And they gotta hurry. They gotta hurry. They gotta, got it. They gotta get it down. 3 for 13 for Brock Berlin. They gotta spike it. They gotta spike it. And they do it. One second to go. They do it. One 
And Chris Ricks is our player of the game. Same thing with Vince Wilford. And one more play for the game. And Brooklyn goes down. And there it is. The game is history. Confirms it done for the Frank Bull. I'd like to thank y'all for watching this video. And for our final score, Florida State 20, Miami 7. And in the um, And I'll see you next time. Peace out, folks.